So some loot stole my idea, but really they did it quite a bit better. A while back I had an idea to install a poly dryer base onto my AMS. I wanted to be able to dry filament while it was loaded up in my AMS or while I was printing. Now this is a feature that's more common in these multicolor boxes today than when I did that, but at that time nobody was offering a filament dryer inside of their multicolor box. It was totally my idea first, everybody else stole it. So now Sunloose joined the fray by entering their product into the fold in the form of this super cool replacement lid for the AMS. It mounts in the stock location and it allows you to upgrade your old AMS to have features similar to the AMS 2. So today we're going to unbox it, install it, and do some light testing. There may even be a little bit of drama and heartbreak, who knows. Let's see how it went. For starters, the unboxing. I employed the help of Paul and Corey for this unboxing, and Paul did an excellent job being a cameraman. Why don't you comment below how well he did? They just grow up so fast. With the unit pulled out of the box, we can begin removing the foam and the tape that it ships with. And with the clear film removed from the screen portion of the lid, the thing is ready for install. The heater comes with the hardware and an Allen wrench necessary to install this as the new lid for your AMS. But before we do all that, we need to remove this film from the top of the device. Pull it, no matter if it's supposed to or not. I'm saying yes. You're rolling. And this is mine. Oh no, this is awesome. Why is it so hard? It's not supposed to, is it? Probably not. Oh, jeez. We'll leave the sides on. Once we saw how difficult it was for Corey to remove this from the top, we turned back to the instructions and realized the disclaimer that Sunlu provided to us. With this being a pre-production unit, some of the finishing touches aren't quite finished yet. And that is why this vinyl sticker stuff that's all over the outside of this box does not look super great. It looks like it should be taken off. Please note that the AMS heater is still in its trial stage. And while we've worked hard to ensure its quality, some minor imperfections may occur. Your feedback is essential in helping us refine the product for an even better user experience. Now this is something that's superficial and ultimately won't change how the product performs. So we pressed on by removing the old lid or the existing lid on the AMS. Welcome to Paul's, Paul's Anasium. But we did err. Err on the side of being better. Now the removal involves taking out these four screws and the little plastic hinge deals that are being held in. But before doing that, you should probably take out any filament that you have in your AMS, if that wasn't obvious. Also, you can remove the PTFE tube that comes out of the back of the machine by pushing on this little clip here. That'll just make it a little bit easier to handle instead of trying to do this while it's hooked up to your printer. Believe me. Now with the old lid off, we can use the same four screws and the little mounting bracket thingies to put the new one on. And with all of that done, the install is completed. If you want to see more of Paul, Corey, and I, you can check out our other channel. It's called You Like That. You like that? Yeah, you like that. And we do challenge videos. To celebrate the launch of that channel, we're doing this massive giveaway. You could win printers, accessories, some fancy filament. And in fact, Sunlu is one of those vendors that's sponsoring a filament giveaway. They're offering one of you lucky winners 10 spools of filament. And it's not just PLA. I think there's maybe a PETG in there. And then like four spools of composites, like carbon fiber nylon, I think PA6 and 12, and other ones I don't really remember right now. So go to the You Like That channel, watch the first challenge video, which is called We Draw Random Filament. Listen for the special phrase in that video, fill out the entry form in the description. Once that video hits 50,000 views, entries are over, we start drawing winners and sending out prizes. It's that simple, friends. Now using the AMS heater is super simple as well. With the thing installed on the AMS, it uses its own power cord, and that not only runs the heaters, but also your screen where you control everything. So that screen displays things like your relative humidity, your temperature, everything that's going on in the environment inside of the AMS. Sunlu promises great air circulation by way of two fans inside of this unit. They work together to prevent you from getting anything like hot spots on your filament or deformation from one side of it being heated more than the other side. The heat range spans from the default 55 Celsius all the way up to 70 Celsius. 
And if the dryer runs away and hits a temperature of 80 Celsius or higher, the thing starts freaking out and screaming at you. There's also this little air outlet on the top that you manually open or close if you need to vent the moisture from a particularly wet spool of filament, and that'll prevent that moisture from building up inside of the unit. Once you've run a dry cycle and you have everything dried inside of the AMS, the thing will continually monitor the air in there. If the humidity reaches more than 50%, then it'll kick on by itself until that humidity is brought back down. And this 50 degree trigger point can be moved down as low as 25 if you'd like. This is a feature that's becoming my favorite in the world of filament dryers these days. Automatic filament drying is the best way to store filament that's really sensitive to moisture. Just knowing that the filament dryer is keeping the humidity where you want it, yep, I like that. Now one of the things I don't like about this unit is kind of dumb in hindsight. Let me explain. This heater lets you dry while the printer is running. As in, you can be running a print job and you can be drying your filament at the same time. Now I know that sounds like a trivial thing, it sounds kind of dumb, but Bamboo doesn't let you do this. This thing does, so here I am talking about it as a feature, instead of something that we would assume to just be a given. So in reality, for my workflow, I often forget to dry my filament before printing. So it's pretty common for me to begin drying it and then start printing after it's dried for some amount of time, or I'll cook off that last bit of moisture while I'm printing. Especially if it's a spool that I think's probably dry, but I want to do it just in case. Absolutely, I dry while I'm printing. So that's a great feature, but beyond that, the other thing I really like about this is the packaging. It fits well, it integrates into my setup super seamlessly, and it adds a lot of functionality. But on the other hand, there's a couple of things that I don't like. Really, it's one thing, I guess. It's just the weight of the lid now. Of course, I don't know how you could add a heater to this unit without making it weigh more. But all that weight is sitting towards the front of the lid now, so that kind of makes it cumbersome when you go to open it and close it. Especially since there's no little handle or pole that you can grab onto to easily move it. And really, this leads to the heartbreak of the video. That's right, I broke it. While I was taking apart my AMS for a clogged PTFE tube or filament that was broken off inside of there or something, I had the unit tip back a little bit. And just tipping it back was enough for the AMS lid to be too heavy for the little hinges and it just broke off. This is a total bummer, but in fairness, Sunlu warns against this very thing. They say specific things like, pay attention to the opening angle and stuff like that. But I didn't read that, cause come on. Oh well, this is something I should have been more careful about, and it's something that you need to consider if you're seriously looking into this product. So aside from the poor finishing that we had on our unit, which is a pre-production model, I've got to say I'm pretty impressed. This was a good idea that was executed pretty well. It bolts on super easily, it absolutely upgrades your AMS experience. The fact that it only costs 110 bucks right now is also super crazy, because this is effectively a filament dryer that can cook four spools at once. That's a lot of bandwidth for not a lot of money. So thanks to Sunlu for sending this unit over, it's been super fun to test out. Also check out our second channel for your opportunity to win a free printer or some Sunlu filament or all sorts of stuff. Bye!